This video will teach you how to save platform settings and organize your workspace. Pay attention that limits and lines are saved automatically after the platform is closed. All other settings, like charts colors, options, and windows set are saved in layout. Note that all settings are stored on our servers and you can access them from any PC. Layout also saves the list of windows and their position on the screen. For example, you might have separate layouts for swing trading, intraday trading, etc. Layout Last Close allows you to open the platform with the same configurations you had when you closed it last time. You can use this function if you forgot to save the layout the last time, but we recommend saving it manually. Click Save Layout, provide a name, and press Enter. There is an option for automatic layout saving after closing the platform. You can activate it in Setup, Global Settings, Auto Save Current Layout. Next, we can delete layout. You can delete layout only by opening it first. Set default layout. In this case, the platform will open automatically with the given layout. And then let's move on to the desktop function. This is an analog of virtual desktops of Windows or Mac OS. It allows switching between different Windows sets. Desktop is a part of layout. So to save the desktop, you need to save layout. In other words, we set up and save the desktop and then resave the layout. What are desktops for? For example, we need two window sets with two instruments on a single monitor. We have E Mini S&P Futures and FESX. So, let's create desktops for these two assets. To do this, we must arrange the windows we need and minimize all other windows. We ensure that all windows, except those with E Mini Futures, are minimized. And then we arrange the windows on the monitor the way we want. In this case, we have four windows for each of the instruments. And having organized the workspace, we call the desktop window with the Alt-D hotkey or from Setup menu. Here we click New and enter the desktop name. Then click Apply. A desktop for S&P Futures is created. Then we are going to do the same with FESX Futures. Minimize all windows with E-mini and organize the workspace for FESX by placing each window the way we need. Again, check if all windows we don't need on this desktop are minimized. We call the desktop window with the Alt-D hotkey. Click New, enter the name, confirm, and click Apply. The second desktop has been created. And after that, we should resave the layout. Market Watch, Layout, Save Layout. And now, with one click, we can switch between two window sets. Now you will see the algorithm for creating a desktop on the screen. That's all for now. Feel free to contact our technical support with any questions by the contacts in the description. Thank you for your attention. See you in the following videos.